Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to stop your effect controls panel from switching to the next clip while you're trying to keyframe the last frame. Okay, so this is a common problem that people ask me about. Let's say I have this clip here and I want to animate the scale. So I'll select the clip, I'll go up to my effect controls panel and I'll turn on keyframes for scale. And then I want to add another keyframe to the very end of my clip. So I drag my playhead in my effect controls panel all the way to the very end. And look what's happened. It's selected the next clip in my timeline and it's now showing me the effect controls for that clip. So obviously this can be very frustrating and there are two things that are causing this. Firstly, the very end of the effect controls panel is not the last frame of the clip, it's actually the edit point. If I go down to my timeline and I zoom in on the playhead, you can see that my playhead is parked at the first frame of the next clip. At the same time, I have something turned on and that is sequence selection follows playhead. And this means that wherever I drag my playhead in my timeline, it's going to select the clip that's underneath it. And if you don't remember turning this feature on, it actually gets turned on whenever you switch your workspace over to the color workspace. Now I could turn this off by just going to sequence and unchecking selection follows playhead, but here's the thing, I actually like to have this turned on, especially when I'm doing a lot of keyframing in my timeline like this. I like it to automatically select the clip rather than me having to select it myself. So I'm gonna leave this feature on, but here's a much better way to jump to the last frame of your clip. I've selected it in my timeline, I'll go up to my effect controls panel, and rather than using my mouse to move to the very end, I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut, and that is shift end. And that will jump to the last frame rather than the next edit point. And if you're using a mini keyboard that doesn't have an end key, then the shortcut is shift function right arrow. And that's it, just a quick way to stop your effect controls panel from switching to the next clip. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.